Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to set up Databricks in Community Edition. So, first of all, we'll just go through some theory things like what is Databricks. So, Databricks is a company and a platform that provides a unified data analytics and AI platform. The database is founded by the original creator of Apache Spark and Databricks offer a cloud-based service designed to manage the intuitive data and machine learning lifecycle. So, what is the key feature of Databricks? is it is unified platform what is unified analytics platform is so database in, integrates various component of the data analytics and machine learning ecosystem into a single platform including data ingestion data storage data processing and machine learning this unification help reduce the complexity of managing multiple tools and platform making it easier for team to collaborate and accelerate project timeline okay and also it provide the collaborative workplace so what what is collaborative workplace means is here it will have the collaborative notebook it is similar to the Jupyter notebook and that will allow data scientists, data engineers and business analytics to work together in real time and this notebook support multiple languages like um, Python, R, Scala. If you know Python, R, Scala or SQL you can work in a collaborative notebook and basically this is built on Apache Spark so Databricks provides a, a managing and optimized version of Apache Spark ensuring high performance and scalability for processing large datasets and it also has the features of machine learning and AI it provides the data lake and uh, it provides the enterprise security and the cloud native so cloud native means uh, uh, let's suppose that you are, your project is on AWS so you don't have to move from the AWS your project is running on Azure or GCP so Databricks offer cloud native means if you are working on AWS you can leverage the other feature of AWS like S3 and other services along with that you can work on Databricks as well so Databricks come with other major sort of cloud provider so Databricks come with the what what available major cloud provider is there like AWS, AWS, Azure and Google Cloud, GCP. Okay, so hope you have understood what is the Databricks is. In this video, we are going to set up, set up Databricks Community Edition. So for that, what you do is you can simply log into, you can go to Google and you can search for Databricks Community Editions. And uh, this is the Databricks Community Edition URL. You can open it. And if you have already have the account, you can directly log in here. But I will do sign up. Okay. Once you do sign up here, you can fill this name and all. So you can fill name, email ID. Okay. Name, email ID. Current company you can give the self because this is just for learning purpose. And uh, title DI. If you want, you can give the phone number. After that, you have to continue. Once you continue, they'll ask you. To whether you can pick the cloud provider or not so we will not go for this options because this here we will get only 14 days of trial period this is full Databricks so what is different between community edition and uh, this Databricks free version of Databricks is free version of 14 days of free version Databricks you will get the full Databricks platform for 14 days you can choose AWS GCP or Azure and sign up with the email address and you will have the all the features that data will provide okay but obviously um, after 14 days it will expire or you have to pay for that so so for learning purpose we will go for community edition here and i will show you what is different between community edition and this uh, full database so so in the full database there are multiple services that is available there but you will not get that in community edition so how we will go is we will just complete whatever the services available in community edition first and then we will register for 14 days um, this trial version and we will do other services as well so don't worry we will we are going to learn into end services whatever it is uh, whatever company is using in the databricks uh, everything we are going to learn but for the beginning I will suggest you to go for the community edition and try to learn in free okay and this is community edition will be free so that's what let's uh, start with the community edition here just click here community edition okay it's, it's asking for protecting your account please solve this puzzle so we know you are a real person so this is all are the we can just do it so this is asking me to move this image 
in this direction okay this is correct again it's asking move this to okay this is correct right it's correct okay what happened okay okay this, that was wrong try again move it yeah it is correct right submit so one is done okay you have to move this side okay this is correct submit okay verification is completed so i am human, human so not boot now it will load it now again it's asking to okay it's asking like check your email to start your trial okay so i am given this email id see here i got received one email saying that welcome to database please verify your email address so to open it so this is for welcome to, to database community edition database community edition provide you the access of free macro cluster as well as a cluster manager and notebook environment ideal for developers and data scientists and data engineers okay so you can just click this link it will open one uh, new link okay now you can set the password here then set the password so you see you are you are having this login so you see what are all things you are having now you can see here there is menu options if you click here this auto expand and collapse if you write like that if you click that one it's collapse and if you click this one it will expand here okay so you are having only data engineers and machine learning both are there if you see so we'll just go through all those things so if you want to upgrade you can upgrade but uh, we'll work on um, computer edition for learning purpose now so we are going for let's see what and all things is there in machine learning so this is for machine learning people so they are given the separate workspace for if you are logging if you are logging as machine learning guy you can just select this workspace if you are data data science and engineering guy you can just click here so I'm data science and engineering, data engineering guy. So click here. Both are similar. See, both having the same things. So, but in machine learning, you'll have the experiment here, means model, all those things you can do experiment. And there is also workspace, recent, search, catalog, compute, and workflow. And here as well, all those things there. Only difference is there is one extra thing, experiment. Okay. So just this is how. This looks real. Now I will show you if you are logging with uh, your trial trial version or if you are working in company, then what more option they will give you. So it is like this. If you see, this is my Azure. Uh, I have my Azure Databricks uh, subscription as well. So you see here we are having workspace. This they will give you me the recent option to click here and whatever the recent things I have. Uh, uh, I have opened it. I can directly open from uh, click on recent. We have catalog, workflow, compute. These things we already have in uh, uh, our community edition. What we don't have is SQL part and, and data engineering part separately. So don't worry, we will just finish this part first. Okay. Then uh, we'll start with, we will log in with the trial version and uh, we will go through all this part. So, that's all for this video we have learned how you can log into the community edition okay so in the next video i will uh, go through all the options what available here so thanks can thank you for watching my video thank you very much